So this is the female reproductive system of the horse. So we can see the vestibule here. We have the clitoris and the clitoral fossa. We have the labia of the vulva. Our vestibule begins where our urethra joins the vagina. Okay, so that's the vestibule there. Back here's the vagina. Back to the cervix. We then go into the uterus, which has been opened up here. So the uterus is primarily T-shaped in the horse. Here we can see the ovaries. The ovary has a distinct ovulation fossa where we find the fimbriae of the oviduct. Here we can see a ovarian versa which isn't as developed as what we saw in the canine. So this is, let's see what we can find right here is the uterine tube or the ovidum in the mesosalpinx, okay? So here's another equine pelvis. We can see the termination of the aorta here, going into the external iliac arteries. We can see here very nicely once again, the deep circumflex iliac artery coming off, and then we see the uterine artery. So the main uterine artery is coming off the external iliac. Okay, we're also going to have a uterine branch off the vaginal artery and a uterine branch off the ovarian artery. But our main artery is off the external iliac. iliac. Okay, in the cow, the main uterine artery is going to be coming off the umbilical artery. Okay, so here we've got the descending colon and here we have the uterus. We can see here the ovary. The ovary, remember, has a depression here, the ovulation fossa, surrounded by the fimbriae of the oviduct. And we have an ovarian bursa here. So this is mesosalpinx. We can see the oviduct coursing in that. And so the mesosalpinx, this is going to be the mesovarium. And then we have the mesometrium back here. That mesometrium has a free edge right there which is the round ligament of the uterus. So the uterine horns, it's more of a T-shape in the horse. So the uterine horns and uterine body. We can see here the mammary glands of the mare. So the mammary glands, we just have one gland on each side, unlike the bovine that has two. And we see that we have generally two openings to teat canals in each teat. 